What's up guys and welcome back to Iron Mustang. On today's video we're going to be installing our voltmeter from Autometer. It's part number 5791. Basically we got the gauge, the bracket, bulb. Did come with some little uh, different colored light coverings. We're not going to use those. And the hardware. This is the connector that has the wiring for the lights right here. So what we're going to do, I already cut the wire, I'm going to strip it back, just a speck here. Now we're going to, I got an extra piece of wire, what I uh, wired the lights into the, uh, the dash. I'm just going to take one of these little uh, splices and one side is going to be just a, a single wire and on the other side I'm going to feed the double wire in. Make sure you give them a little tug. Better to find out if they're going to come out now. We're nice and solid. I'm going to fish my wire around where the other ones came through and pop it out near by my uh, gauge cluster here for so just a quick little overview of it. There's the uh, the harness that connects to the back of the gauge cluster here put our tap in basically just added this extra wire that i'm wiggling right there ran it around and it's coming out over here and when we switch to the wiring portion of this i'll show you what we're gonna all do right so let's go ahead and get started on this one i'm gonna pull out our little bracket right there slide our gauge into place Put the retaining ring on the back, a little star pieces go between the plastic and the little hand nuts. All right, now we're going to make sure it's straight, tighten it down, and I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so we need an ignition wire. So if you watched the last video when I put in the uh, boost gauge you will know that I shouldn't have put the ignition wire on the uh, light bulb so we're gonna pull that cut that out I like using these insulated ones on these where it's kind of a real tight fit there versus the uh, like the open style ones just in case anything were to happen feel a little a little safer about that So, hook the ignition wire to the eye. Now that I looked at this for a second, I think I'm actually going to get creative. I'm going to pull the ground off the other light that I did. And I'm going to ground that to, because it's the right style of uh, connector. I'm going to put that to the ground pin that grounds out our 12 volt. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two lights. I'm going to chop off the connector I put on it yesterday. I'm going to hook my two grounds together, put those in there. So now I'm just going to hook the two uh, ground wires from the light and jump it off the back of my other gauge. So now all of our grounding is done. Now the only thing left to do is to hook up my two hot wires to the light wire that we jumped off the back of our other harness. So maybe we'll cut this one somewhere about right there. And we'll plug it in. And the reason I left it a little long as I've said a couple times in a few of these videos, I might want to move my gauges up here. So that just leaves me the extra length. And honestly, it's not so long it's hurting anything. This nest back here is the one that, uh, that bothers me, if anything. Right. So don't make wiring hard, guys. This is the voltmeter. 12 volt ignition, ground. I'm just using that ground to tie into those little light bulbs. We're going to be just fine. And I 
pigtail those two together and just minimize my connections there. And then on the light bulb side, we used the switched lighting wire. Pigtailed those two lights together because the middle one doesn't have one. Hook those up and that's it. All right, so now when we turn on the key, our voltmeter comes on. All of our gauges are working. None of the lights are on. And when I turn the lights on, these two light up. Now I would like to swap those bulbs out to a LED that matches these. But I can knock that out another time. No big deal. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section.